Welcome, welcome. To create a welcome campaign in Brevo, start by going to the left navigation and clicking on automations. Click on create your first automation. Click on email templates. In the top right corner, click on create a template. Enter the template name. We'll call this welcome email. Enter the subject line. You can say something like welcome to the, and then insert your company or organization name. And you can also use personalization here. You can click on the add personalization button and use an attribute like first name and then insert it. Add preview text so you can give your audience a quick preview of what's in the welcome email among their list of all their other emails. Scroll down, choose a from email, make sure your company name is right. You can customize the reply to address. You can input another email address. You can customize the to field. For example, you can use the contact attributes for the first name and last name instead of email address in the to field to make it seem more personal to your contacts. I would activate the Google Analytics tracking so you can send parameters, you can send data to Google Analytics for source, medium, and campaign. That way you can easily identify traffic from your Brevo campaigns. And if you want to allow your contacts to update their profile form, you can do that. It'll add a link at the bottom of your email for a form like this, where they can update their contact information. You can add tags for this email template so you can easily find assets related to any emails that you send or for any campaigns. You can add attachments as well, but I would be careful with this one because emails with attachments might trigger some flags in email clients and filter your emails to spam. Click on next in the top right corner. Here's where you'll design the actual email. You can search through different types of templates based on what you want to send to the audience. You can code your own template, your own email. You can use a rich text editor or paste your own HTML code. Choose your template. It gives you all these blocks that you can use, but I want to highlight the style section. This is where you can set up your branding. You click on these three dots in the top right corner, save it, make sure you save every once in a while. Go to the top and preview your email in mobile to make sure everything looks good. Send a test email by clicking on this icon at the top. You can click on preview as a customer where you can go to the right and select from the recipient dropdown. You also need to have your email, your test email address uploaded to the contact list. Even to send test emails, you still need to contact Brevo support to enable that for you before the first time you send one. So you can click out of that. If you click on save and quit and make sure you click on save and activate. Navigate back to automations from the left menu. Click on create an automation in the top right. Click on the welcome message pre-built automation and it'll bring up a preview of what the automation and the workflow looks like. We'll click on use this automation, select the list of contacts that you want to apply this workflow to, click next, set the amount of time you want the workflow to wait before proceeding to the next step. Since this is a welcome message, we want to contact the user, the new member as soon as possible. So we'll put one minute, click next, and we'll choose our email template, our number six welcome email. If you want to configure any of these other settings, feel free to do so. Click on finish. So you can see the workflow starting from the entry point. Test your workflow to make sure it works as expected by clicking on this icon with a flask. Enter the contact with which you want to test your workflow. You can skip the wait for steps, then click done. And lastly, click on activate automation. Later on, you can check the performance of the welcome automation. If you want a more in-depth video for creating a welcome automation in Brevo, check the link on the screen or look for the link at the end of this video. If you want more content on working with digital marketing, audience, customer, or user data, subscribe to the channel.